your core challenge of the day. All right, today's challenge is a little bit different. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of stuff on our back. We've been doing a lot of stuff in plank position, you know, working our butt, things like that. Today, we're going to put it all together with a different challenge, right? And I call this kinetic core training. This is something that I've been learning uh, from a guy named Dr. Andrea Spina, uh, functional range conditioning, Hala. Um, really great um, way to move our body in a different sort of uh, manner. And, and with this, you know, the, the idea behind core training is, you know, we hold in a plank, we tighten our abs. You know, we do a dead bug, we tighten our abs, we do a sit up, we tighten our abs. But in reality, in order to um, make all this stuff work together to prevent injury for my athletes or my individuals that move in any type of way um, or to develop a better stomach, it's kind of getting this stuff to work together in more realistic lifelike positions. So today we're going to feature three exercises that involve what, are, what we call transitions. All right. So our first exercise, we're, we're, we're going to start out with just like a straddle position here. Okay. So my legs are very wide. All right. Now, um, the hardest level with this is going to be to cross our arms, all right? We can, uh, the more unstable it is, meaning the, the less of my arms I use, the more core we're going to work. But, you know, if I need to work my core, I can start by just taking one finger, putting it into the ground. You know, if I need more support, I can use my hands. But again, we want to try to not do that. Each of these exercises is going to be for 60 seconds, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate here. Okay, so I'm going to cross my arms, get as upright as I possibly can. And I'm just going to lift my left leg, hold for one or two seconds and come down. Lift my right leg, hold for one or two seconds and come down. The goal is to stay as upright and straight as you possibly can. And what you'll notice is immediately you'll start to feel a burden in your lower abs. You know, this is expected. Our core is stabilizing. But again, I'm just trying to lift as high as I can with my, my body leaning back. I'm trying to stabilize. So it's up, hold, come down slowly. Up, hold, come down slowly up high as you can without shifting low and I come, come down slowly one more time on this side and slowly okay so that's exercise one now exercise two we're going to get into what is called a 90 90 position so I'm crossing I don't know if you can see that well here but I'm crossing one leg in front of the other leg so I'm kind of like in this like uh, straddle position here okay this one is a little bit harder and again I can use my hand if necessary but what I want to do is attempt to strip position myself from one side to the other. So start here, roll across, come into the straddle position on the other side, start here, roll across, come into the straddle position on the other side. Now if I need to use my hand, I can put my hand behind me and do the same thing. But ultimately I want to use As little support as I possibly can. If you do this properly, you're really going to, I mean, it's going to kill you. You're really going to feel that, you know, that's the goal. But the more of the goal is just to control your body. All right. So that's exercise one and two. We're just transitioning back and forth. Then we have our straddle leg lifts. Last exercise, we're going to start in a plank position. Okay. So back to flat leg table. Hands are uh, right under my shoulders here. I'm going to come up into a push up position. I'm going to slowly move back. So shifting on my arm. Holding this position, turning around, shifting to the other side, just turning as far as I can. Again, trying to keep my shoulder, my shoulders pressed away from the floor one more time. So in this one, we're just going across the body on one side, across the body on the other side. So between those, th so that's uh, each exercise, 60 seconds, three rounds. And between those exercises, you're really going to challenge all areas of your core. Um, you're also going to improve your movements. Uh, great work, great warm up for running for my runners out there as well. Three sets to 60 seconds. Let me know what you think. Comment at the bottom, and that's your workout of the day.